Hello all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the CP Plus camera setup, the full combo which I have bought from Amazon. How to set up easily this one by yourself. That's what I'm going to discuss here. So first of all, you have to take the TVR and just unscrew the TVR so that you can open it up. And inside the TVR, that's this much. There is a board. Uh, which you have to connect it to your hard disk which you got with your package there are four screws inside the hard disk and also in the DVR where you have to screw this hard disk with the DVR there are some connectors in the hard disk so that you have to uh, keep the hard disk close to the connectors in the board so that wire will reach the connectors so that's it, nothing much, we can just screw it up, we have to tighten this up so that it will stay steady. After that, <coughs> after that you have to plug your SATA cable. Uh, to your hard disk and the other end to the board there is no confusion with this cable because it's pretty easy and you can only connect to this particular port no other port so there is no confusion that's it with the DVR setup now you can close it and screw it and your DVR is, DVR is ready for recording now what you have to do is to set up the connection with the cameras and the power supply so inside this cable there will be two cables so uh, this is mainly for the video and from this uh, you have to select this these three are actually required so this is for the camera and uh, this is for the DVR this is for the so in this you have to cut off this above layer and where you will be able to see inside you will be able to see two wires one is some a small wires which covers the thick wire so that thick wire has to be connected with the red wire from your BNC connector We will be able to see that thick wire here. This you have to be careful with this. So the thick wire has to be connected to your red wire. You have to keep it like this and twist. Once after that find any wire from your place so that you can put a covering on top of the connection so that it will not create any noise or the conductivity will be good once after you do this this is how you can do that you just need to put a layer on top of your connection It will look like this after this you have to insulate this so that it will not have any contact with the white wire or the protective sheath about the black wire so after that you can connect the white wire with the the, the other outer side outer wire from your black wire so that both can be connected together and insulated together after that what you have left with is the power light 
So I have I am selecting out of these three I am selecting red and yellow. You can also select any. Uh, all the three cables can be used. So I have selected red and yellow for the power cable. Uh, as you can see, for the this is the power connector. Now you have to connect the power cable with your A plus one cable. So I am connecting red with red and yellow with the white color or any other color which you have it with your power cable. After connecting that you have to carefully insulate so that it should not uh, touch each other. So your connection is ready, everything is set up so your camera can actually connect it with this particular connection. So you can see one cable is power connection, so we can directly connect. There won't be any confusion here as well. It's very easy. There is a BNC connector, you have to press and press. That's it. Now the other side is also having the exactly same connection where you will be have you will have a BNC connector also on the other side which you have to connect the only difference is that you don't have a power connection instead you have to connect the power connection directly to the power supply so here it's the same BNC connector the connection is done here after that you have to connect the other two wires to the power supply so here I have red and yellow the red is positive and the yellow is negative. I have connected red to the positive and yellow to the negative power supply. Now the power supply has to be connected to your power source and uh, the next and the other BNC connector has to connect to the TVR. We can have a closer look here with the connection. So the DVR connection is also done and then you can connect your HDMI from your monitor directly with the DVR also you can connect the mouse after that your connection is ready and you will be able to see your videos on your screen and you can select which type of view you want and all the settings here there's a pretty easy setup you all can do so that's it guys uh, you all can try it's pretty easy and i think i've covered all the uh, connection details so if you have any queries please feel free to comment below so that i can give you your answers thank you thanks a lot please subscribe